Let's begin with, how did the virus get into the cell? We know that all our cells are surrounded by a cell membrane, a layer which is made up of lipids and proteins. Because of its semi-permeability, its job is to let a companion go in and out but blocks the enemy. It also has a finger-like projection on them which have different functions like binding to nutrients. The thing is, the virus are evilly clever. They change their getup to look like a companion and join to the projection and cells bring them inside. The cell immediately realizes its mistake. EIA agents arrive at the scene and kills the virus. A piece of a virus is then sent back to the cell membrane where the cell announces and alerts the neighboring cell about the invader. A neighbor sees the warning and immediately gets to work. It needs to make antibody protein to kill the evil enemy. Oh, hi. Uh, I want to inform you that the process will start in the nucleus. Now, there's one more th cool thing that I have to tell you. That is, that our DNA in the nucleus have knowledge about everything. That also includes the recipe of the antibody. That is very essential for us in this situation right now. All this knowledge is stored in different sections of the DNA. So, EIA agents, or enzymes that we can call them, they find the right section of the DNA, then replicate it. Now, the replicated version is called Mr. Messenger RNA. Mr. Messenger RNA leaves its home nucleus and travels to the ribosome to give nucleus order to Miss Ribosome. Miss Ribosome reads the order, then takes amino acid and connects them together to create antibody. The creepy antibody leaves the cell and heads to the Golgi apparatus. Here, it's packed up in a bubble which is made up of the same material as the cell membrane. The Golgi apparatus also provides a map to help the antibody to get to the edge of the cell. When it gets there, the bubble fuses to the cell membrane. The cell ejects the antibody and it heads out to track down the virus. Now, lysosome then breaks up the poor leftover bubble which is then recycled. That's how hard our cells work in order to keep us safe. <laughs>